living a lot of first experience with your first crush and girlfriend is fantastic. Ah, uh, yeah. I guess so. I only had secret crush on this boy for about two years. It was it was awesome though. Although the first appointment, the first appointment was total disastrous. Appointment? You mean the first date? Korean barbecue. Wait, which? Wait, does this lead me to Granville? Does it? First day. Young love, you learn about the world together. Old love, make compromises, meet halfway. Huh. It does? Okay, cool. cool. There's a more mature and sensible version of love. You don't get a butterfly in your stomach anymore? Uh, yeah. Does the secret crush slowly fade away or still something there? Um, I don't like the current version of him. I don't have a crush on the current uh, him. But when I think about him, the, the version of him in high school, I still think that was a very attractive boy, you know? I still really like, I still like him as a person. I still think he's really smart and cool. Just not like I don't have a crush on him anymore, you know? People change a lot after two years out of high school. Yeah, the reason I had a crush on him because he was really, really smart. He was a genius. In my mind, he's such a genius. He's like so smart and he doesn't even try. And he's funny, he's smart, and he's handsome. I'm like, how could someone have so many good qualities in one? It makes no sense. And then when we make eye contact, I'm like, Oh my gosh, oh, we made eye contact. Anyhow. <laughs> I met two years ago, this other day, she changed so much, it was a bit shocking. Uh, but people do change though, yeah. Probably she'll feel the same way for you too, right? Look at these beautiful lights. But I'd say, I would say I still felt the same type of feelings to other people afterwards. It's not only like the feeling I had towards my first crush didn't only stay with the first crush. It, I, it happened in the future too with other people that I liked. She stated I look the same. That's not bad. Roti, but I could not say the same thing back. Mm -hmm. Also, Lork and Dennis, you two have the same colored name tags, and then <laughs> sometimes if I'm far away, I feel like you're the same person. And then I would pay attention, I'm like, oh, these are two people, two different people. Katuya. Wait, where am I? All right, I'm just gonna keep going until I find Granville. Come on, Granville Street, where are you? 
trying to change it. <laughs> Independence, rent a car. There, there, Dennis. A sweet can of the store. The store is closed. Oh, why is this a hill? I don't like hills. I do like city lights at night. Seed or Swede? Swede. It's a weed shop. So many weed stores. Yeah. People need their sweet cannabis. Did I eat yet? Yes. Yes. We had some good food. I used to live in the tower to the left. This one? Or that one? We became boring. I'm also reluctant that makes a second at all. Oh, that seems to be a nice building to live in. Right at downtown. Oh my gosh, I remember when I was uh, when I was apartment hunting. I went to look for this apartment in downtown. Holy, it's so tiny. And it's not even a room, it's um what is it? It's like the sun room. And then put a bed in there. It's like twelve hundred dollars per month. And the place looks very falling apart. So, so, solarium. A solarium, yeah. Hello, UV Zero. Hi. So I've decided I'm like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try to live downtown. Yeah, it's insane. Plus, downtown is slightly more dangerous, I feel like. And it's really loud. And there are a lot of cool things happening at other parts of the city. So then I decided to go somewhere else. We need way more construction to meet the demand. The demand of housing. Vancouver houses are expensive. Like condos and apartments. I wonder if Tokyo. 10 story apartments moving around is boring. Some of those um, really tiny houses are so well designed though. I'd live there too if it's well designed and it looks nice, you know? Rent seemed high in Vancouver. It is really high. 22. Why are there small... A very small and like... I don't know. Something not so flowery. Hmm. You can't find a wet one bedroom condo for less than 1500. That's not including all the utilities. Yeah, and that's what I was paying in Halifax. I was paying $1,500 for rent. And then on top of that, I had to pay... I didn't need to pay electricity, but I had to pay uh, my internet. Yeah, I lived in uh, 